Greetings from uh, Cape Kaliakra. We are leaving the city of Varna with the regret that we stayed only a couple of hours, but hopefully we can come back here and visit it for a longer time. Now we're heading towards uh, Kapkaliakra and Tulenovo. We have uh, only a couple of kilometers until we reach these destinations. the sun uh, coming from our back the forest on the right side and uh, we head into Cap Caliacra there is uh, quite a strong wind hopefully we can feel something with the drone but uh, as I see right now the wind it's uh, quite strong at the moment the tarmac it's uh, just impressive over here it's absolutely perfect This helps uh, quite a lot on your riding comfort, it really helps. Another open landscape. There is a mixture of uh, cold air with the warm air. As soon as you go down, there is always a uh, mixing between them and it makes uh, that makes uh, the ride even more pleasant We've just made a ride at some point and we are on a straight line to Cap Kaliakra only 14 kilometers to go Kaliakra is a cape in the southern Dobroja region of the northern Bulgarian Black Sea coast. The coast is steep with vertical cliffs reaching 70 meters down to the sea. Kaliakra is a natural reservation where dolphins and cormorants can be observed. The Kaliakra peninsula stretches 2 kilometers into the Black Sea. Cape Kaliakra is offering a strategic vantage point over the Black Sea. The Cape has been a long history of fortifications, occupied successfully by the Thracians, the Romans, the Byzantines, the Bulgarians, the Ottoman Empire and the Kingdom of Romania. At uh, the entrance, the price is uh, 3 leva per person. We arrived. The wind uh, is quite strong. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> The wind is quite strong uh, at the moment. I don't want to risk uh, losing the drone. But don't worry, we have some views from the coast. Greetings from uh, Cape Kaliakra. We have uh, ruins all over the place. 
old ruins from the fortress. Acum tren. Okay. Da. Da, da, foarte frumos. Here we have the Thracian Rock Sanctuary. Here the, uh, the worship of the sun. The Thracians worship both the sun and the earth as gods, viewing life as an eternal fusion of two forces. Many estimates the date of rock formation show the most important solar events of the year were synchronized with the Thracian ritual calendar. This is uh, one of the sanctuaries. And another spot that you can admire here. It's amazing. That was it uh, with Cap Caliacra, quite an experience to visit uh, this beautiful place. And now let's go to Tulinovo or Tulenovo. This is definitely a place which you cannot miss. You just cannot miss it if you are in the area. At about uh, 70 kilometers uh, from Balchik. It's one of the nicest places uh, 
from the area. We've officially entered in Kilenovo. Let's see uh, how we can find the place. What do we do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I This is a... Uh, these are some pictures from this area with the people which uh, they were working here constructing these uh, towers and this uh, industry over here could be based in uh, on a petrol petrol extraction oh spectacular Quite impressive, huh? Impressionando. From a closer look, it's even more spectacular. Chulenovo Cliffs
look at this uh, old uh, petrol uh, transportation uh, tank it's uh, almost buried in the ground left over from the uh, petrol gold times over here in Tuli Novo but let's face it uh, the rocks the landscape yeah this they they make you dream and now our time it's to go to Balchik Just perfect, perfect view on both sides. What a place! Это бастрада, что ли? Мы на конце дня уезжали в Тулиново и вернули в Балтик. Это церковь ремонтной. Очень симпатичная. Константин Елена. Finally arrived in Balchik at a beautiful sunset uh, over these ships. It's uh, time to say goodbye to Balchik and to Bulgaria. Hopefully we will get back soon here because uh, it was quite a nice experience so far. This was our hotel, quite a nice view and uh, perfect uh, positioning.
I can highly recommend you to come uh, in Bulgaria not only here because uh, there is an amazing uh, price quality price service ratio uh, besides the beautiful landscapes uh, there is the the cities and the places are very peaceful very quiet you can actually uh, relax over here and uh, the amount of money which you have to pay it's uh, quite decent and uh, also the food is very good and the prices of the food at the restaurants on along the seaside along the coast even are uh, quite decent and uh, yeah the service is very good and uh, this actually makes a difference and if you are lucky to get this nice weather over here because uh, usually the weather it's uh, very very nice in this area starting from may up to september even october we have only 60 kilometers left until we reach romania i hope you've enjoyed this uh, this short trip uh, videos from bulgaria i wish i had film uh, more but you know, uh, it's also a matter of uh, enjoying the road and uh, living the moment while riding. Uh, on the left side we have a shooting range, a place where we can uh, shoot. We heard some, uh, some shooting over there. You know, even this uh, exit road uh, from Baltic to the main road, uh, it's very nice, very, very picturesque. And uh, this is our way out from Baltic with a perfect view of the seaside. We haven't come uh, to Baltic on this uh, road, but uh, we exited and uh, yeah, it was a perfect choice. Trachean cliffs. A lot of things to visit around here. A lot of places, remote uh, beaches also. Quite spectacular this road. I don't remember it uh, from my last visit here, I was with a car. <laughs> <laughs> 